Hello and happy Easter to everybody out there today on Easter Sunday. Um, before I even get started, I just want to wish you guys all a happy Easter. Whether um, Easter's definitely a time of renewal and revital, revitaliness, whatever. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Um, but happy Easter to all of you. Whether for whatever reason you're celebrating it for the uh, the rejuvenation of spring with eggs, chicks, and bunnies, or um, if you're celebrating from more the religious side of um, the, re the resurrection of Christ. Um, happy Easter to all of you out there. Um, so I had actually, I'd actually recorded this once very early this morning. I was trying to do it while people were sleeping, and the audio just came out like garbage. So I'm redoing it on my secondary character that I have. Um... And I'm, I'm just going to skip through a lot of the text and dialogue from this. Because it's so... It's way too wordy. Unfortunately, that's what Square Enix likes to do. Um, she looks like she's crazy. Look at her. Like she's going to eat us. Um, great expectations. Uh, this is... Uh, this is the Easter event. That's why I'm going to do this video and I'm gonna post it as soon as I get it done here. Uh, GG, or GG, even though that's not her name, has a dream and it hopes that an adventure like herself might help make it come true. So basically she proceeds to tell us that she's had another vision from the Hatching Tide from the Archons of Yore and that a wandering special Spriggan is going to lead us to a great treasure found inside great eggs. But she also sees that adventurers that look like Spriggans are also going to help in this. And that's where the Sylphic Sorceress comes in. She turns us into Spriggans. And she is very long wordy too. She's all basically says, hey, you know what? If you see that special Spriggan, the dreamer over there thinks it's not going to happen. But you should tell her if you see her. Uh, but my favorite thing it does turn you into Spriggets. Spriggets freak me out a little bit because they remind me of critters. You guys have ever seen that movie? And they're almost hard to control because they sway back and forth when they walk. Anyway, as a Spriggan, you're going you're going to go and uh, find eggs. Find three, well, Transfigured, collect three Archon Eggs. Collect three Archon Cards from Archon Eggs. Hey, there's another fellow Spriggan. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, it's a special Spriggan. I like talking to him because he's funny. Spriggan Egg, look at Egg, look at look Egg! Weird little arm. Lucky egg, lucky card, shiny, shiny card! Then he runs off. Alright. Got a three cards, woo! Whoops. It's down here. Blip, blip. Look at all these eggs. 20 eggs. Alright, back to GG. Okay, she come back. She's obviously going to ask you for... Ask you hand over the cards. It's just like, oh my goodness, it's a platinum market card. It was just the past my dreamers and the eggs. She says it was very rare, and then you explain to her, hey, I saw that Spriggan. It was a strange Spriggan. He told me where to find it. Um, and she obviously proceeds to tell you that it's part of her dream. Blah blah. blah. The Spriggan's discovered. We have to keep track of the creature. She also sees in her dream, her vision that she had. 
Spriggan left the forest and went to the sands. Sandy place, which can only be Ulda. She asked us to go to Ulda and find one of our helpers. Which that's what we're gonna do. Alright, here we are. We've come to Ulda to talk to Nonota. So, Nonota proceeds to tell us that the Spriggan has been seen in Ulda. But she fears that it may be in danger because of Gigi's other vision. That there were like two or three um, bad things that were trying that were trying to stop the Spriggan. So, she charges you, or us, to track down the Spriggan. And Spriggan form yet again. Or she says, go save the Spriggan. We don't want those crooks to see our faces. Basically, she says they're bandits trying to steal the Spriggan's treasure. And then we have to stop them. And we don't want the bad guys to see our faces because we're adventurers and bad things might happen. Here they are. I'll talk to Spriggan again because he's funny. Nowhere to run now, Spriggy. Nowhere to hide. Eat Spriggy egg. Tasty egg. Don't eat Spriggy. No, no, no. Shell shocker, that's what they call themselves. The chill sends ch chills down your spine of you egg hunters. Thou's balls, it's another one. Hold on. And I know what I ain't. Just one of them adventurers praying to dress up. Gives me the creeps it does. You want to give me a hatch and tie present? Get away, girl. Can't you see we're busy with something here? This is what? <laughs> see that little furry feller you've got here? He's a famous Asprisha Spriggan. Everyone's been going on about. And you know what? We're gonna do, we're gonna boil him up and stick his, and suck the flesh from his bones. And we'll be the ones with the luck. Is that really what he said? That is literally what he said. Creepy. Thou almighty. You're still going on about the present? Alright, alright. I'll take your bloody egg if that's what it takes to get rid of you. Hand it over then. Sling your hook. Have this cloudy scale bomb, you son of a bitch. What? I can't breathe. <laughs> lucky spray. Lucky, lucky. Run away. <laughs> Buggerton. The Spriggans made a run for it. He won't get far. <laughs> Got the one of them fellers in to cut him off. You see which way the bastard went? <laughs> Alright. Back to Nonota. Uh. So he takes our disguise off. But then he proceeds to tell us, hey, you know what? She actually had two visions of the Spriggan getting in trouble in Ulda. Okay. You must have to go find the Spriggan again. Here. Did you see which way he ran? I'll put it on very lightly. So okay. basically, you have to go get in yes. Spriggan form again, and then go track down the Spriggan again. Like a spring again because he's a bug a leg. Bug eye a leg. Spring traps trapped. Don't eat spring Taste bad. Talk to the shell shocker again. You got business with me, adventure? Well, you, my blaze got business with this here spriggan. Maybe once we're finished with him, you can get around to you. With the hole up, chief. Let's grab the booger and cook him up before he skips out on us again. You got something to say, adventurers? Spit it out. We're handing our presents to Hatch and Tide. You want me to have one? Now hold on a chocobo. You won't take no for an answer, will you? Come on then, hand it over. And then piss off. Have another scale bomb, you piece of shit. <laughs> what in seven hells? You'll pay for this, you- <laughs> Spring free, free! You, Spring friend, thank you! 
<laughs> Chief, the Spriggan's got away again. God, he made it out of the gates. We'll never catch him now. Looks like our dinner's off the table. Let's get the hells out of here before... <laughs> <laughs> up our lunch and all all right back to Nonata again all right and then something revealing happens this time so oh, I'm probably not gonna skip this cutscene completely ah, it's good to see your face again my friend tell me true what is the auspicious spring able to escape the city yeah I rescued you again from those bad guys Think the gods, or should I say, think the archons of yore for the events of blah 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 blah. The adventure in her vision must have been you, Mackie. You're the one that's making all this stuff happen. Alright, no no. How's it going with the festival? Me and the lads have finished up for the day. It's pretty rough out there, you know. You could have warned us about those scale bombs. They don't have pack a punch. Thought I was going to cough up a lung. Oh, oh no, it's the leader of the Shell Shockers! The evil bandits who tried to ruin the Hatching Tide. How dare you set your faces to a dreamer? Well, she's still working. Get out of my sight right now, or I'll have this adventure throw you out. This adventure? Don't tell me she's the one who. Oh, um, uh, listen here, you. I know you're hiding this bitch of spring somewhere. If you don't tell me where, I'll, uh, or I'll boil you up. I need you. What's the matter? Coral got your tongue. Well, in that case, I'll be off. See you, limbs and limbs, no, no. Uh, um, the nerve of that brigand acting as he knows me, which I assure you, he most definitely does not. What a bunch of bullshit this is. Consider motivation, blah, blah, blah. Make your way to limbs and limbs. As so we make our way to limbs and limbs and talk to Moat. She explains that the third part of the vision contained bad spriggans, so the same wicked people trying to disguise themselves as spriggans and stealing eggs. So our next part of the quest is to, again, don the disguise of a sylph. And stop the evil spriggans. Let's do it. There's one switch to Spriggan. Hey. Uh, Oi, what do you think you are? I mean, what a water, what a stone, what's happened to my disguise? Girl, looks like the jig's up. You got me banged to rights. I ain't the real Mr. Spriggan. I'm a shell shocker through and through. Wait. <laughs> but while you're wasting your time on me, the lads are closing the, closing the net. Happy hunting, big ears. What a jerk. What a fake jerk. Egg, egg. Who's looking at egg? Spring, spring, spring. Uh, what in seven hills was there yet? My disguise is gone. Saw this for a lark. They never told me I'd be taking bomb to the face, let alone two. I'd stick it around for a third. Alright, next one. Uh, last one. Here we go. Biggie egg, biggie egg, big treasure, treasure. Like piss on him. Look at a big egg. Look at look at look at look at treasure egg. Look at wow wow look at eggs. Look at treasure. I found the spriggan. I must report to moat. Moat. Welcome back, Maki. Is it a little fluff? Oof.
she asked you what you thought of the enemies. Anyways, they seemed rather, rather friendly to me. Are you sure that you don't expect another one being in league with those villains? Oh, I do expect that. And suspect. Big eggs, big treasure. A word to that effect. They imagine they conjure somehow familiar. Of course, the enormous egg from Gigi's vision. So, Moat goes on to tell us that Gigi invented giant floating eggs. And they needed to be destroyed in order to gain the treasures within. So, what they've done is you go down to certain areas and... Time for some fates. Oh, there's like two or three people out here. Last step. Uh, more or less, yeah. Basically, you hang out here for a while. Until the fate pops. Fates, Square Enix. Fates. We love fates. Okay, it's about time. So the the decorated egg suspiciously acts like a Allegan device of some kind that you've maybe fought in a dungeon somewhere. I don't know how hard it hits, but it's got a huge, massive range on it. Like, look how far that goes. Ridiculous. Like, it has such a huge, massive range. So, as uh, Spriggans, when you're in Spriggan mode, you just have the ability to shoot your little lasers. Pew, 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 pew. That's what we're all doing here. Oh, we'll defeat the egg. I love how there's a bunch of other just random people just come in and try to fight the egg, but like they can't do anything to it. Like that guy doesn't realize he's not doing any damage to it. Ting, ting, ting. Ting, ting, ting. Do you not realize, stupid asshole? Ting, ting, ting. Is he healing it? He might be healing it. That pissed me off. Jeez. It's trying to kill you. It, it is trying to kill me. You're right on that one. Yeah, that's a big giant monster egg. Yep. You better kill that big monster egg or oh. I'll kill you. <laughs> okay, Blaine. But you better kill it before you. Before that egg killed you. You know. And that egg. Oh, me. Oh, see, that, that egg has candy in it. We got it. Hey, it's dead uh, again. All right, we got it, and we got two lucky eggs. We need two lucky eggs, and we need to get ten lucky eggs. All right, we need to get turn two, this off. Ten, ten lucky eggs. And we now we report back to Moat. So we go, we hand over the eggs, and then Gigi shows up. Like, oh, it's the prophecy. They talk a lot more about the prophecy and how everything's fully coming to pass, and that I've defeated the giant enormous egg. And then more is revealed. Spriggy done job now. Spriggy want pay. Pay! Give Spriggy eggies. Eggies!
Not now, Spriggy. I'll give you all the eggs you want, but not, but only when the festival is over and not a moment earlier. Until then, you're the auspicious Spriggan. Don't you forget it. He runs off, scampers away. Quickly now, there's a good boy, and don't let them catch you the city until the, uh... What is the meaning of this? Obviously, GG comes to find out that that's a fake. I, and I get the chance to say, yes. Yeah, she's pretty much faked the whole thing, man. What? This bull is this... What can you take me for a fool? It's like, oh, it's, it wasn't meant to happen this way. Uh, getting the giant eggs, it, was, it wasn't... It's going on to say that basically they did find something underneath the sand that was shaped like an egg, but they had to paint it, and the shell shockers and the suspicious spriggan were all faked. Other dreamers are staged. And more blah blah blah. But then she thinks, she's like, hey wait, I actually envisioned this fight between all of us right now. I saw it through your eyes, all of it. Monkey, they should just freaking go down and show sharks and that, blah blah blah, scale bombs. This means the dream is indeed the vision of the future. There's blah 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 blah, future this, future that. Uh, so, as it turns out, she did actually predict it all. And that she needs to, uh, Gigi needs to go to a certain place, and we're all gonna go meet her there. She, she's gonna get the treasure, she's gonna find the treasure. Alright, we are here. The Bismarck Cross. All the Hatching Tide festivities, all the bad dudes, and Gigi herself. Thank you for coming, Gigi, and welcome to the party! Happy name day, Gigi! So it turns out it's Gigi's birthday. And they staged everything to throw her a surprise party. Honestly, if you actually go through and actually read the text, it is a little bit of a touching story that they're all friends, and they really wanted to throw her a really great party. Um, but for the sake of the video, I'm just not going to show it. Um, you can tell Gigi's moved, she's crying there. That Lollafell has really freaking creepy mm -hmm. eyes, like a cat and a... Flashlight or something. Um, but they're just basically they're going to talk about that. They're throwing you this party; it's going to be really great. And then when the party's over, they're going to go back to the hatching ties festivities. And of course, thanks to you for making everything possible. Because well, you're the warrior of light, and you do everything. Hey, is that the egg hunter? Yep, that's the egg hunter, Blaine. That's Daddy. They'll cheer for you. Life is good. And that... It's pretty much the end of the Easter yeah. event. You're that Easter... <coughs> killer. That's the Easter killer. The Easter killer? I don't think I'm an Easter killer, Blaine. Ah. No, I've never done that. Um, any... As you're leaving, Burdon stops you. And he explains that those eggs, those giant eggs, are actually Allegan... Basically, killer alligator devices that you've been stopping. Is that you, Daddy? And he says, "Good job." He's like, "I knew, I knew, I knew you knew what you were doing." And he takes you forward, tells you you're doing a great job, and that we've protected all those people. We'll find more. Um. But that's that's basically it. So the the, the good thing is so basically, um, I know you can trade these eggs in somewhere. So basically, you keep doing the fates. You keep doing the fates over and over again and getting more and more eggs. You can actually open the eggs up and you actually get something from them when you use them. Let's see what I get? I got really. I got a clear diamond material too. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um. Anyway, so from last year, they had a similar thing where you could collect these eggs, and sometimes you would get, like, a bronze, gold, or silver egg, um, and the gold eggs would obviously have better prizes in them. Uh, but you had to hunt down little notorious monsters that were little spriggans that had, like, stolen all the eggs. Um, in this, they, they're doing something similar, but they're doing fates. So basically, you go out and do all those giant egg fates, um, and you get eggs, 
And I think you can trade the eggs in to an NPC for certain prizes. So I know there's more egg earrings and there's an egg lamp you can get. Um, and then who knows what's in those prizes. I've gotten um, I've gotten these elegant silver pieces and I've gotten a clear dye material too. So who knows what's in those. Um, after I collect a bunch of them, like I did with the Christmas event, I'll probably do another video of just opening a bunch of eggs and see what I get. So you can look forward to that. Um, other than that, that's going to do it for this video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And have a fantastic Easter out there today and have a fantastic weekend. And until the next video... Be kind to each other, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.